about it because you win a you win a premiership fine, and within a couple of months or a month, you're planning for the next yep. year. Yeah, exactly. So how you know a company, an organisation, for example, it's one thing to hit a target, but the yep. question is how do you raise the bar? Yeah, how yeah, do you yeah. change the goals? How do you continue at yep. a high performance state? Yep. And your, your game, this business, is exactly that. Yeah. Well, I think there's, there's probably two ways to answer. One, you've got to have an eye on where the game's going. So you've got to have someone within the organisation, the business, understanding you know, what a Collingwood doing, what a, you know, what a Hawthorne doing, what a St Kilda doing. So you've got to really have an, a clear understanding of yeah, the, the, yeah, the technology side of it. Yep. Yeah, what's the, what's the, how's the boat changed? You know, you can have the best values, but if you've got a terrible boat, you know, that's just not purely. If you're racing a Ferrari against the Holden Commodore, you're not going to you're not going to win. So that's that's a really important part of someone within the organisation making sure you know where is the game going. You know, who what, should that be? Well, probably you know, in a brand sense, it's probably the CEO. Not necessarily from a football point of view, but where's the business going is from the CEO. I think. From a from a global point of view, if you're talking about you know, 18 teams, it's someone within the coaching coaching group. Yeah, you know, that whether it's your forward scout or whatever, they're the ones that, that got to come back. I mean, because the second part to the to the answer was going to be, and and I'll give you a couple of examples. You know, um, yeah, 2006 at, at, at half. Well, I'll go to 2005. 2005 when we won the premiership. I remember going to a meeting and. You know, we had a meeting and, and all the coaches were there and everyone was saying, well, yeah, what are we going to do differently, you know? And the meeting was going on and on and on and on and, and someone said, well, haven't we got a set of standards? You know, and, and we're sort of like, yeah, I think, we, yeah, we have. Well, why don't we just really make sure we drill down on them and make sure in the pre-season and, in, in, yeah, we actually do them better than what we did last year? And it, it was quite amazing. That, that's Something of, in your control. It's in your control. Yeah. You know, you've got a set of, you've got a roadmap. So we did that um, the half time of the 2006 grand final. You know, we were playing West Coast Eagles with, you know, probably one of the best midfields of all time. They were 30 points up at half time. You walk in, yeah, and as much as it's great to play in a grand final, your worst fear is to get beaten by 100 points in a grand final. So I'm, I'm walking in as a coach going, you know, we're in trouble. You know, this we're is not a, looking good. This ain't looking good here. You know, Juddy's going all right and Cousins going all right and, mm. Yeah, again, similar, similar type meeting. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And someone said, well, we're not doing the things we do well. Why don't we try and do them? You know, and again, it, it's, it's getting back to those set of behaviours and set of principles and having a clear understanding about what makes you a good organisation. So there's the bigger picture stuff, but the day-to-day -day stuff is extremely important. You know, and I know in business... You know, people talk about budgets and, and you know, we've got to make our monthly budget and we've got to make our yearly budget. You know, there's no one under more pressure than coaches to play finals and win grand finals. But I think the good coaches and good leaders identify what makes a good day. You know, we hopefully we did that for our players, that we were able to say to our players, if we do, you know, these three things or whatever they were, and I won't go into all the details of them, but if we do these things well, we'll win. We know we, know we will win because our data tells us we will win. And, of course, if you win enough games of football, what happens? You're playing the finals. Yep. If you win enough games of football in the, the finals, you win in 2005 and you win in 2012. So it's really trying to define for your staff, not, not necessarily worrying about – someone will worry about the three-year plan and the five-year plan, but what makes a good day? You know, what makes a good day on the footy field? And, you know, I, I did the Collingwood game on the weekend and that was a good day. You know, that was a real good day. You know, what made a good day – for them, and then it's knowing what that good day was, and and reproducing it, but not walking around and trying to guess. Geez, does anyone know why we played well today? You know, <laughs> can you look at the tape again? I'm not really that sure. So I think that's from a leader's point of view, you got to have a clear understanding for your staff. What is a good day? Yeah. How many phone calls is it if you've got a sales business? You know, how many people have to come into your shop, and how many of those you have to convert to to sales? What's the percentage? You know, and then you can start to get an, a feel. For, for how you're going, how you, how is, do you need more people coming in the next day? So that's the analogy. So for us, I think what we tried to do for our players is create an environment that they knew why they won. Yeah, the, if we do these things well, you know, but it's also being aware, what is the, what's the next boat going to look like, yep. you know? Um, and that's certainly you've got to have an eye on that because football, like business, changes really, really quickly and if you, you can get caught behind. 